In this video, Advanced Android Recorder for Stereo Sound. It's an app I found by accident on the Play Store. It promises to record audio in 3D space, which actually means if your phone has two or more microphones, you could get stereo left right sound. It works like this. First of all, if you are interested, have a look at your phones. I'm very fortunate that I've got a Moto G4 and a brand new Moto G8 Plus. And interestingly, the Moto G4 has a little pinhead microphone on the back. And it also has a regular microphone on the front. The G8 Plus has a microphone or a hole at the top that I didn't actually think did anything. And of course, the normal speaking microphone on the bottom. Now, if you don't have access to, say, a professional microphone or something like the Zoom H2n, which does tons of things, in other words, X and Ys, mid-size, two channel, four channels, the full singing and dancing equipment, having a phone with two microphones may well be useful to get something like an interview or a forest sound like this. In other words, I went out with my new Moto G Plus and recorded just using the camera some video. When I bought it home, I realized that not only does the Moto G Plus have stereo speakers to listen back, but I wondered if there was stereo sound. And when I interrogated by dragging the audio file from my computer into Audacity, I could clearly see that when some wind blew, there was a difference in the left and the right channels, which could only be, by deduction, recorded from the top or the bottom microphones, if not both, of course. When you do record using, and I'll talk about the app UI in a second, Advanced Audio Recorder looks like this. It has a single wave form, and if you set it up, you don't really know it's actually recording stereo. It, again, if you drag that file into Audacity in my test here, the left top microphone clearly did things where I'm circling with a laser pointer, where I'm literally tapping on the pinhead mic to see if it works. And on the bottom uh, right microphone, you can see that I'm tapping and I get these very different waveforms. If you're new to this, when you split up stereo sound, if it's supposedly promising stereo, but it's really mono, you'll get identical waveforms. In this, it's clearly different. Therefore, you've got a lovely left and right. So let's talk about the app UI as such. When you open the app up, all you get is a literally a blank, um, well, just a blank lot of greyness until you record something. At the top, you can star a couple of things and then you get um, some starred files, very useful. Other than that, it's name or by date. And then there are some very simplistic but really powerful things going on here. So storages, uh, I'll talk about a second because you can plug your phone into USB and copy and paste the files directly over if you copy um, or find out where Android data uh, com dot pk.aar files is on your machine. Um, what else have we got here? I've chosen to go with .wav files on a sample rate of 48 kilohertz, and that is pretty much there, apart from to look a little bit deeper. If you're trying this thing out, obvious, go to the recording microphone and choose stereo to try it out. There is a thing here which says recording volume, which is set to 100%. It says software gain, use above 100% only if you have hardware issues. I would paraphrase that and say only use above 100% if you know what you're doing or you think you do, because you can go from 0 to a 400. I found that 150, 150% was not too bad. But quite honestly, if you've got something very loud or really quiet, then 100 will be OK. But if you actually know that you're craning to say, I don't know, hear some distant bird song, then by all means, stack it up to 150, maybe 200 percent. Any higher than that, you're going to risk clipping and just a horrible fuzziness where the microphone is just totally gained out, topped out and it'd be horrible. The old Goldilocks, if it's too big or too small, then stick in the middle. 
right hand screen shows that when you've got the file sorted you can share it in many different ways Google Drive is probably my favorite if not plugging a old school USB in when you hit record it records as one single waveform on screen you do not get a split stereo to figure out left and right waveforms who knows I'm in touch with the developer maybe that will come in future updates when you do record be aware of I'm guessing here uh, that the red line is the maximum and as you go here you get this white line where you can see if it's quiet it's very skinny if it is loud then it goes up top I will email the developer after this and say where it says 61 decibels I believe that what that actually means is 60 percent of its maximum volume I may be wrong there but I think by investigation that's what's actually happening but remembering oh, decibels are usually managed in minus with zero being the very very top volume what else have we got to say about the Android advanced recorder for stereo sound it is free I can't see any advertisements or option to donate but hey um, Pavan who made this fantastic job if it fits for your phone then it's a brilliant thing YouTube Mike Downs once again see you in the next one